Today I have a Trader Joe's haul. Oh my gosh, these bags are so heavy. Ugh. I have two giant bags of some Trader Joe's goodies. So this is like a grocery haul, but there's also some holiday stuff that I got. If you guys don't know this, Trader Joe's always has like super amazing specialty products at the like at the holidays, at, during fall, during spring, during summer, like every season they have different specialty food items or even like grocery items like body soaps and stuff like that I was finding. So I'm gonna go through the stuff that I got and then at the end of this video I'm gonna have like some clips of a lot of the other holiday like Christmassy, Thanksgiving type products that I found that I just didn't buy because like I don't need 50 different specialty candies in my house. It's best for everyone that we don't do that. So without further ado, I'm just, I'm going to show you what I got. There's no order. There's literally, I'm just pulling stuff out of the bag as I go. Spaghetti squash. I, I have to get back to meal prepping. My meals have been so lazy and inconsistent. I am just so likely lately to just like eat whatever is around rather than some make something really healthy. I'm just like, I'm just so lazy with nutrition lately. So one of my favorite meals to meal prep because I don't typically like meal prep food. I don't like the taste of leftovers. I don't like eating stuff that's been like sitting in my fridge for days. <clears throat> but one thing that is actually really good is butternut squash with some like ground turkey or ground beef and just like a marinara sauce. <sighs> As long as you get enough of the water out of the butternuts, or not the butternut squash, spaghetti squash, as long as you get enough of the water out of the spaghetti squash and your meal is not like super watery, it actually holds up in the fridge really well. So I got spaghetti squash to do that. I have lemons, a big bag of really nice lemons, organic lemons. I have these little Les Petites carrots. I have just been having at a lot of restaurants lately, like glazed charbroiled carrots and I love it so I saw these and I I feel like I've made these before and I didn't make them right so I didn't love them but I'm gonna try again it looks like an excellent side dish especially for this time of year I just love root vegetables carrots potatoes squash oh I love it this time of year I got these <laughs> purple sweet potatoes right sweet potatoes Rita's Stokes purple sweet potatoes so these are potatoes that are actually purple on the inside now I got purple potatoes last year because I kept seeing them like on different cooking shows or like they were really popular I was like I want to try purple potatoes so I don't know if what I got was a sweet potato or a regular potato but what I ended up doing was like cutting it up in slices and trying to cook it like that or no cubes I cut it up into cubes and it like in the oven, it just totally dried out. It did not become soft. It became very hard and crunchy. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try to mash these. That's what they have on the cover is like mashed purple potatoes. So I don't know if they're sweet potatoes or if they taste like regular potato. Well, they say sweet potatoes, but I'm excited to make those again. And this time not roast them in the oven, but to make a mash out of them. That will be really yummy. I also got sliced baby Bella mushrooms, which are my favorite mushrooms. A big onion. I think this is a, a yellow onion. No, it does. It's yellow. We got some avocados in here. And I think that's all of like the fresh produce that I got. But I did get this, it's um, a smashed sweet potatoes with pecans. I remember last year Trader Joe's had these like seasonal sides that especially around Thanksgiving, they had like smashed sweet potatoes. They had like a potato gratin type thing. Here they have a cauliflower gratin that I got cause that looks good. Something like this and this is so easy when it comes to meal prep. Like if you're someone who's gonna be prepping meals, you literally don't even have to like heat these up necessarily. Since they heat up in like one to two minutes, you really can just put them frozen, sectioned out into like meal prep containers along with whatever protein source you're putting in there. And then when you heat it up, it's like you're cooking this fresh because you're not like microwaving it, putting it in a container and then microwaving it again when you actually eat it. It like only gets microwaved once. So I do that with frozen veggies too. If I ever meal prep and I want veggies as like part of my prepped meals, I will just put the veggies frozen into the meal prep container so that when I eat the food like later that week, it's only getting cooked once. So that seems to help with like the consistency and not being so mushy. So stuff like this is just amazing. This cauliflower gratin, it's cauliflower baked in a creamy cheese sauce topped with Parmesan herb breadcrumbs. That sounds super yummy. And then this is mashed sweet potato with pecans, which is going to be like probably really maple-y and yummy and oh, so good. So this is going to help make my meal properly easy and make it really tasty so that I'm not just putting like rice and broccoli as my side to all my proteins because that's not fun. I restocked on one of my favorites. This is mushroom risotto from Trader Joe's. It is 
so freaking good. This again is a really good, I've actually meal prepped with this in the last couple of months where I will make a batch of this and I will separate it into like three containers maybe and add some cooked chicken thigh and sometimes I even add a little bit of truffle oil. It's so good, love it, love it, love it. So yes, some frozen foods, but I don't think that these are like the worst frozen foods for you. I don't think that most of these have like pretty simple ingredients. This cauliflower gratin one does not. This is some complex ingredients, but this one I think, yeah, it has like five ingredients, this one here, the sweet potato mash, so whatever. Sometimes I just need like, I need to get vegetables into my body and if I it means I'm microwaving them, then I'm microwaving them. I also got, I think I got two of them, yup. I didn't even smell this. I'm just trusting and believing that this is gonna smell amazing. It's this little like caddy of um, dish, not dish soap, hand soap and hand lotion. I've been thinking like, cause in the winter season, my hands are so dry that they're like cracking. A lot of you guys have even mentioned like, hey, did you get a new wedding ring? Because you've pointed out like that is not your typical wedding ring. No, my other wedding ring fits me like perfectly, but with the dry, <laughs> the extreme dryness of like the winter season it like anytime like water or soap or cleaning supplies get caught like trapped under that ring it dries my skin out so bad that my skin literally like flakes off so I kept ignoring it for like all of October and then finally in November I was like okay you know what I need to get like a really loose ring like this is super duper loose um and let my hand just heal so anyway I wanted a caddy with some lotion so that I can kind of help with that dryness that I always experience and yeah so let me actually smell this I'm gonna put one probably maybe at the kitchen sink but most likely I'll probably put one upstairs in my bathroom and then one down here in the guest bathroom Mmm, it smells like Christmas. It literally smells like white pine. Like it smells like, mmm. Yup, that was a good decision. So, it says it's made with argan oil, aloe vera, and shea butter, which is, well that's what the hand lotion is. The soap is jojoba oil, aloe, and botanicals. Sounds legit. And I don't think this was very pricey either. It's really nice for like a little set. I got some ground beef, some 96% lean ground beef. This is gonna go in the dish of spaghetti squash and marinara sauce. And of course, my unexpected cheddar. I've not had this in months. I've not been to Trader Joe's in probably two months. Like probably middle of September was the last time that I went. So if you guys don't know, I love, love, love unexpected cheddar cheese. It's my favorite cheese ever. I found it from my friend Nikki Philippi. You guys know Nikki Philippi. Um, the like lifestyle YouTuber. She started talking about this years ago, so I tried it out. It's like cheddar with hints of Parmesan, so it's just like, it's just such a delicious, strong, crumbly, amazing cheese. Oh, I just love it. If you've not tried this from Trader Joe's, go get your life, girl. The last thing that I got were these mini peppermint meringues. Um, I'm not always like a huge meringue fan, but I feel like a peppermint meringue I would like. And I'm also wondering if you can put this in like, um, hot chocolate. So I'm thinking about putting this in hot chocolate. If you guys didn't already see, I'm sure in one of these videos you've seen, I have this little hot chocolate bar that has some like candy canes, some chocolate syrup, a lot of different um, types of hot chocolate. I'm gonna be, I think there's, oh yeah, mini marshmallows in there. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff in there. So I'm going to see if I can put those meringues in hot cocoa or if it tastes weird because meringue is like an egg white product. So I don't I don't know with certainty that that's going to taste good. So that's all that I got from Trader Joe's and now I will roll the film of a lot of the fun holiday goodies that I found there.
All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Let me know what you guys have been finding this holiday season at Trader Joe's or really any grocery store. If you'd like me to do another grocery store that has like a lot of good holiday stuff, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.